once a year, Adobe has a big creative inspirational festival. Anyone can attend. It's called Adobe Max. It was in Miami this year. We just missed the hurricane, uh, but not the humidity. And so um, the Miami Convention Center, so you walk around the whole thing, it's 1.2 miles. So you will get your steps in. Um, we did release and announce quite a few new, uh, in all the applications, you know, over 100 new features. I'm going to start with uh, Lightroom Web. Lightroom Web is really interesting. I have a feeling a lot of people aren't really even aware of it or maybe looked at it a few years ago. It is a great partner with Lightroom Mobile. So if you have like just the premium version of Lightroom Mobile and don't have any of the desktop apps, desktop or classic, you can log in with your Adobe credentials to Lightroom Web, which is lightroom.adobe.com, and you'll get this big, beautiful interface. So you can work on your larger monitors, this is great if you're traveling or don't carry a computer. You can go to any library. You could show people's in their homes. You know, just log in. It's great. Now, what's interesting about Lightroom Web, it's gotten a lot of attention and it's got an updated interface. And it's a great place where the team explores new features. So it's good to keep your eye on it because like, oh, that's interesting. And, uh, you know, we'll ask for feedback. So I'm here in Lightroom Web and I've, uh, I've logged in as myself. And you can see I have 211,000 pictures in my Lightroom. There's something unique in Lightroom Web. If I come to the All Photos and I click Clean Up, oh boy, Adobe, uh, Lightroom has decided that almost 14,000 of my pictures aren't that good. And I'm like, who are you to judge me? Um, but it's sort of like, there's, yeah, there's a lot of blurry photos. There's like screen captures. Oh, well, I like blurry photos. Some of them are good, really dark things. I find it interesting to see what it, this is definitely a mistake, what it's seeing as a, a good and less good photo. So I often take a look at it. It has actually shown me an error in my camera settings that I was like, oh, why does it keep doing that? And I asked Sony and they're like, oh, because of that setting. I'm like, well, let me fix that. So you can access the cleanup in all photos, um, and it'll go through that. It's a little depressing that it found almost 14,000 pictures, but everybody's a critic, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to find your best photos, you can do that in an album. So I was at Max. I led three or four photo walks. I love leading photo walks for mobile, for any kind of camera. And so I have an album of the Max photo walks, and I want Lightroom to show, why don't you choose the best photos? It's going to look at the album, and I can um, have it ignore my ratings. You know, if I had ratings on, I could have it be more critical. Well, how critical should it be? Oh my goodness. And I definitely want to emphasize pictures with people. And so what's interesting, I've done this, I've looked at it, and I'm like, if I look at this group of images, it did a pretty good job. There's only one that I would take out, and it's this one. So I'm going to get rid of that one because I don't agree. So these are things that are in web now. They require that your images are in the cloud. And I think it's just an interesting technology to be aware of that is just in web.